I was very bright. Hello houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am wearing a onesie. My cat is playing with the tripod. Let's party. This is my OOTD. It is a Christmas onesie. I got when I was a junior. Oh, a junior in high school. So um, you could say it doesn't fit as well as it used to. And I don't think I've worn this in at least two years. Look, it's got a little little bud panel. <laughs> Anyways, hi! I thought I'd do this this video a little bit differently and open with standing. Not like open the box standing, but like I'll start standing. Today we're going to be unboxing one plant. This is a Hoya that is very, very, very special. This is my top wishlist Hoya. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot this week because surprise, surprise, we're all stuck inside and ordering plants. And that is what I've been doing. This was a trade. Most of the plants I'm gonna be getting this week and next week are trades. Don't panic. I'm being smart about things. I'm bartering off my goods. And then someone bought me one too, which is amazing. Chris bought me a plant that I used to have, but then it arrived with cold damage and so then it died. But yeah, this is one of those plants. Let's open her up. One last shot of this onesie because it's so darn cute. Hopefully this is a good angle. Watch this be a terrible angle. All right, let's do this. Before we continue, I just do want to remind you guys that I do have a Patreon. It is the first link in the description, and that helps me out so much, especially right now. And please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, if you just love watching houseplant content. I will have you all know that I have a very exciting collab coming up on next Friday. So if you're not here next Friday, um, you're a square just like this box. Except the thing inside this box is really great. Just like you. If you don't show up, you're square. But the inside of you is still a gem. I just woke up from a nap. Can you tell? Ooh, this is a first. I've never seen uh, anything wrapped like this before. Here's something sad. My views have been down a lot this week. I think I'm just getting way too creative with my videos and I need to knock it off. I need to go back to doing top 10 lists and other things like that. This is the interest, like, most interesting wrapping job I've ever seen. Oh, I found the plant. Okay. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Oh my god. Listen, I just want to say, this has been a long time coming. I'm very excited for this. This is a plant that is expensive, but it's a good thing that it's a trade because otherwise, like, this is the kind of Hoya where if you want just like a little tiny rooted baby, it's like 80 bucks. <gasps> oh, I saw the leaf. Oh, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see what it is? Can you see what it is? You weren't supposed to see it there, so hopefully I did a good job of not showing you. Watch me. Do you see all of the dust? This is a good packing job, but I can't get it out. <gasps> okay, so this gorgeous plant is Hoya Mauna Loa, I think. I think that's how you say it. It is a reverse, oh, a reverse variegated Hoya Hindu robe. So the variegation comes from the inside, which is honestly the superior way that Hoya can be variegated. I like the Crimson Princess more than the Queen. The Crimsess. The Crimsess! I need to go back to sleep. The Crimson Princess has the variegation on the inside, which is right here. Oh, she's so good. I love her. This is basically that, but variegated. Look at how good this is. So this person had a massive plant. I traded them, don't be mad at me, 
Don't be mad. I, sorry, it's like so bright. I traded them my Anthurium Selenium. I know, I know. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, Ashley, why would you ever trade that? Well, listen, okay? I really want red crystalline. That's where the party's at. Crystalline is cool and all, and I've had it for the last couple of months. I've had it since October. It's been a while. I've had it for a long time. I'm ready to have an Anthurium red crystalline, and I'd rather have a freaking Mauna Loa than a crystalline. She sent me two tendrils. This is the smaller one. If you can see it right here. So this is a small one. And then this is a long one. They're both rooted, so these are not cuttings. I told her I wasn't willing to trade unless it was rooted because Hoya Carnosa Compacta especially grows so slow. It roots so slow. So I wasn't interested in having one unless it obviously already had a sustainable root system. And it looks like it is putting in like new leaves and everything. It's got active, active tendrils, so. Look at it, I can't believe it's here. This is amazing. For, um, ooh, the stem is variegated too. I'll try to get you guys some good shots of that. The garden is what the, the patron discord is called. By the way, support me on Patreon. It's the first link in the description. And um, this is the, this plant is the profile picture for the Patreon. <laughs> so, or for the discord. Yeah, you could say that I'm in love with this plant a little bit, like no a lot. This week, a lot of awesome Hoyas are coming. I got bit by the Hoya bug and now I want them all. Well, no, I have a very specific type. I like either things that are reverse variegated or I like things that are way too colorful. Like they should not be that colorful. And then I also like things that are like very deep, like things like this. There's a bunch of different Hoya that have a similar color pattern to this Hoya Callistophylla. So there's like the Meridithii, Finlaysonii. I'm getting better at learning all the names. It's still a process, but ooh, just go back to your little spot right there. Here's my child. I have a beautiful clay pot all ready for her. This is what I want to pot her up in but I don't know that it's gonna be big enough. Let's take a look at our girl's roots. So tell me about your day. I don't have a Merlin update for you guys or an Animal Crossing update really. All of my friends are really far along in Animal Crossing except for me. All I wanna do is get a three star island and heckin' Isabel is like, you need more fencing, you need more flowers, you need more trees. And I'm like, I have so many of all of those things so I don't know if it's just because I'm doing everything on the main part of my island or what, but she's not happy with my island. And apparently KK won't be either because he is not on his way anytime soon. But here's something fun. I have been making myself these little lemon, like ginger drop martinis. It's, they're so good. Oh, it looks so happy. I'm a little nervous to transplant it. What do we think? Let's do it for the gram. You guys at home are all like, I cannot believe that you let that girl unroot her Hoya and now you're gonna unroot it again. Well, listen, it's four. Oh, there we go. Oh, cute, it's got a perfect little root system. Oh, perfect. That's the best way to transplant your plants, by the way. I don't know if you saw, but, Oh, it's so cute. One of those like office air blowy things, you know? The best way to transfer things out of pots is the plant was in here. So all I did was turn it, like hold it here like this. So that way the plant's coming through my fingers but I'm holding the soil. Turn it upside down, lift the pot off. Hopefully it just comes off right easily. And then you grab your other pot, put it over. As long as it's close to the same size, you'll be fine and then just turn it back around. And that way you avoid damaging the roots as much as honestly possible. You get a really, really, really cute new home for your favorite little Hoya. <laughs> oh, what a good guy. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Lena. I hope that you enjoy your crystallinum. Please just take good care of that little guy. He was my first I believe, or no, he was my second Velvet Anthurium. Enjoy it, it's so easy to take care of. It's gonna thrive with you. Look at my little guy, he's so cute. Oh, look at him. So good. Well, 
that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at plantmeashley. Let me know if you've added this Hoya to your wish list. What other Hoyas are on your wish list? I do have a Patreon. If you want to support me on Patreon, that is the best way to help my channel financially. I would love to be doing this full time. Of course, right now it's especially hard. The link to my Patreon is the first link in the description. We have five tiers. The one, the three, the five, the 10, and the $20. The $1 gets your name on the end card you're seeing right now, and it honestly does help. And the $3 and up gets you into the Discord where we have a wishlist chat. We have two shopping channels. We have voice chats. We have Spotify playlists. We have a marketplace where all of us put our favorite houseplant shops, and then we can go shop at each other's favorite houseplant shops. We, we share Etsy listings with each other that we think might be nice. And we are active all day long. So if you're looking for an awesome houseplant community to come and join, join the Patreon, come hang out on Discord. A bunch of us actually were able to locate some Mauna Loa this week. She's real cute. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next houseplant section. Bye. Oh, I have a Mauna Loa. Can you believe that?